Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a good one. Inside the fish bag there are two speckled trout that we just caught earlier today and boy did we have to work for these fellas right here. So Christian made about two weeks ago some speckled trout cream cheese rangoons and boy were they phenomenal. I had mentioned it earlier on one of the MDLR fishing videos and some of y'all asked, did we do a video? We did not, unfortunately, but today we are gonna do it. So I'm gonna fillet these guys up. Let's get started. Butter's getting nice and hot. You want to put salt, a generous, generous amount of salt and pepper on each one of your trout fillets. All right, you guys, and now we've got the pan and the butter nice and hot. You don't really want to burn it like that. It's kind of brown. You want to get to it before that, but it's real late. We're kind of in a hurry, so we're just getting this thing done. And now you want to very quickly fry up your fish. All right, fellas, so this is the first step right here. You want to get your trout nice and cooked, just with salt and pepper in a pan with butter and olive oil. Now you wanna let this cool. Um, you wanna let it cool just so you can touch it with your hands, because you gotta break it up into small chunks to put in your rangoons. And also to go with our rangoons, you can't just do trout and cream cheese rangoons. So we're gonna be doing some orange chicken and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get that started right now. Now we're gonna throw together a quick orange chicken sauce. So you wanna take about three quarters of a cup of sugar, three fourths, dump that in there. This is gonna be three fourths cup of white wine. You know what, all the, all the ingredients are gonna be in the description. So this is white wine, soy sauce, the juice of one orange, orange zest from that orange, and two inch grated knob of ginger. I'm gonna throw that all in there. You kinda wanna let that all come together. Get that sugar melted. Is it medium heat, high heat? Um, it's on medium heat, medium. good question. This is gonna be a tablespoon of water and a tablespoon of cornstarch. You wanna throw that in there just to help the sauce thicken up a little bit. You don't want a thin sauce. You want nice, thick sauce get this all out make sure you get it all out and then lastly you want to take your garlic and a Thai chili um, you could use red pepper flakes if you can't find Thai chili peppers but we found some at our Kroger you want to dump all that in there and now you just want to bring this sauce together and uh, kind of let it come together and here is the filling for the wontons this is 12 ounces of cream cheese uh, so you want to get 12 ounces of cream cheese just look down below for the description. Cayenne. Cayenne, yeah. There's gonna be ingredients in the description, like I said. The main point is you wanna mix all of this together while your trout is in the fridge cooling. Our trout has had time to cool to uh, the touch. And all you wanna do is literally destroy it. Destroy this trout. Crumble it all up and make it into little tiny pieces. You wanna go ahead and dump that in here and you want to get in there you can use a fork but i find it's best to use your hands you just kind of want to get that all well incorporated so next step is to take some wonton wraps get this take your finger have a little small bowl of water right here and just kind of wet the whole wonton wrapper get one scoop dumper in the middle and then you just fold them together ever so slightly to form a nice looking wonton. And you wanna close all those edges, make sure you get them closed nice and good so the cream cheese doesn't seep out when you go to fry. This is the hardest part wontons. right here. Sitting there folding it, it's like rolling out tortillas. It's 
the Asian equivalent of rolling out tortillas is making dumplings, wontons. So if you're Asian, thank your grandmother if she ever made something like this for you. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. I got promoted from dishwasher to Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep adding that. No, don't do that because then it's going to affect the, the flavor, guys. Mama, it starts. It doesn't have no flavor. We just don't follow rules here. Yeah, we throw the rules out the window. It it looks well, like... that's exactly why the chicken's going to taste like freaking butthole. No, it's going to taste delicious. For your dredge, you put all the dry ingredients into one bowl. Put two eggs and a splash of water into this bowl. And basically, you just want to dredge your chicken. For those of you who don't know how to do that, you just want to dump it in your cornstarch flour mixture. Dump it into there. I like to keep one hand wet, one hand dry. Get it nice and fully covered in your egg wash. Then you would dump it back into your cornstarch and flour. Cover that up completely. Boom. So we're gonna do that with all this chicken and then we'll get back to you. You just said that you were gonna keep one hand wet and one hand dry. Yeah, that was pretty stupid. <laughs> <laughs> now you wanna get your oil, um, a nice little pot about three inches depth of oil. And you wanna do this in a couple of batches, unless you've got a better frying situation than me. But oil to 375, you wanna take your chicken, just kinda of dump it in there, and about five minutes should do for it. All right, so when you're done, it should come out like this, nice and golden, but not like, not like your standard fried chicken gold, but this is perfect, this is what it's supposed to look like. You wanna set that out on a wire rack, or a paper towel if you don't have a wire, wire rack and uh, go ahead and continue to fry the rest of your chicken. And somehow one piece of chicken lost all of its, <laughs> it lost all of its bread in. <laughs> Someone's getting the jib from the chicken. Now that all of the chicken is done and fried, you wanna take your wontons, your rangoons, and batches of like three or four. I'm gonna do four because I'm in a rush. Do three if you don't have a good fryer and you're not in a rush. So you want to just use the same heat, same oil, drop these bad boys in, and let those fry up for about three minutes or until they're like nice and kind of dark golden brown. That's what you're looking for. Have you ever had one like blow up? No. You have to make sure that they're cut close all the way up. This reminds me like when you go to Sonic and you get the cheese stick. And there's no cheese in it. Look at this, it's starting to actually look good now. Huh? Son, that the, it's nowhere, like I'm not trying to be funny or anything, but I think you're gonna be the only one eating that. Elijah, would you oh, eat that? so watery. What is it supposed to be? What, well, what do you, what do you think, think it is? It's supposed to be like sweet Come on. and sour? Yeah, he knows. <laughs> it doesn't look good. That does, it looks like water. <laughs> Like okay, have you colored. had sweet and sour? It, it's yeah, supposed it's not to be that liquidy. Thin. Bro, so do you want it to be starchy or watery? You decide. Put in the comments it's the comment section like down beverage. below. Do you want it to be watery or starchy? Honestly. You know, you can't have both. I told you just stop. <laughs> Seriously, scrap it. Yeah. Get rid of that. There is okay. It just needs more vinegar. Bro, it's yeah, not no, <laughs> that's it. We're done. We are done. I've been stirring it. I mean, it looks like it's thickening up, but it's it's definitely thickening. Look at that. When you have to scrape it off of the pan, you know you did it right. And you want to get all of this because it's very important that your orange chicken is covered in sauce. I've never been to Panda Express and they didn't have their orange chicken covered in sauce. That's what you want. What we're gonna do is give it the good old fashioned toss around. Please don't make a mess, son. Christian, it's already <laughs> spilling. Why don't you just throw it inside the bigger pan? 
just uh, medium high and start. This step is really important, guys. You want to make sure you get all of the chicken coated in your orange chicken sauce. Every single nook and cranny needs to be covered. It's going to take a little bit, but you need to get it done. We're going to do a quick taste test. <laughs> it's sour. Oh my god. It's it sour? It's orange chicken. Orange chicken's not sour. Taste it. It's not hot at all. Honestly, I'm gonna warm it up a bit. Mmm. It's good. I actually like it. It's really good. It's not Panda Express, it's better. <laughs> it's really good. I actually like it a lot. This We'll be honest with you. I usually like to hype my own food up. This sweet and sour sucks. Don't do that. This is a backup plan. Yeah. No, <laughs> sweet chili sauce. No. That's what we used last time. Oh, okay. Was this one just made? Um, like, is it gonna burn me? No, it shouldn't. It should be able to tell. Dang, you're not supposed to scarf it in one bite. That's good. The orange chicken? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought the orange chicken was going to be really good. It's, it tastes uh, zesty. The rangoons are really good. Yeah, so if you came here for the cream cheese rangoons, with, or trout rangoons is what I like to call them, with cream cheese. Oh, They shoot. are really good. Why? You can bend it to a pepper. Oh my god, something in there is spicy. Yeah. Yeah, these are really good. Hmm? These are really good. They always they taste just like last time. Sorry y'all. <laughs> Hope y'all are still there. Um, didn't really want to turn this into just y'all watching us eat, but this is really phenomenal. It's I give it two thumbs up. The Rangoons, if you have some speckled trout, maybe you could even try some redfish, flounder. <laughs> and Try the recipe for sure. I mean, it is delicious. Definitely would be a crowd pleaser. Uh, for those that love seafood and you're having a party and you want like some hors d'oeuvres or something like that, these guys right here, just don't do Christian's sauce, the sweet and sour sauce. I mean, he even told you all, so you do it, it's all on you. But I enjoyed this, I don't know, did you enjoy it? Shannon enjoyed it. Christian liked it. So thank you all so much for watching. I know it's kind of dysfunctional the way we film, but there's just all kinds of stuff going on. So hope you enjoyed it. Hit the thumbs up. We're gonna finish eating and enjoy this. Uh, yeah, that's about it. It was really good. Really, Hit really the good. thumbs up, not the thumbs down. <laughs> that's not gonna be That's not gonna be <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all next time when we're off the water. Yeah, don't put that in there, okay? <laughs>